Hey guys, me and Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. And here's what we've got going on. Here's what I see this afternoon. We've got one day left of snowfall in the Wasatch. Uh, light snow only for the Tetons. In Colorado, it will snow today and tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. And then again on 210 with a separate storm system. So this storm cycle is coming to an end for most places um, very soon. And then the pattern's going to shift to the northern tier of states for about three maybe four days, and then it's going to shift to the west coast after that. So things are going to be changing after we get out of this, uh, this storm cycle. I'll explain what, what all this means here in a sec, but let me just give you the lay of the land here. So this is water vapor satellite imagery. A couple of things to point out. There's a storm system right here traveling through the southern tier of states, and there's another little area of spin dropping down through Utah. Idaho into Utah, and that's what's going to keep the snow going tonight and throughout the day tomorrow, and then it's going to come to an end. And all this coming in behind our main storm system, that was the one that actually hit California a few days ago. You look further upstream, got another big area of low pressure, and this is going to be part of that pattern change to the northern tier, BC, uh, the Pacific Northwest, like 211 to 215, and that low will be part of that. All right, uh, let me just show you what this is going to look like on the jet stream. So here's the forecast jet. This is by late tonight. Main storm moving away, but those two other lows kind of coming in, uh, just following the jet into the interior, and that keeps the snow going through the interior Rockies. Here's 210. This is the final piece, the final part of this storm cycle. You can see the dip in the, in the jet, the trough right there moving through Colorado and New Mexico with one last shot of snow. And then it moves away on 211, everything starts to shift. Look at the jet on 212, 213. It's way up to the north. So you're looking at precip up through the BC, and Banff, and the Pacific Northwest, up to Montana, Idaho, and then dropping down into the Tetons. And the Tetons could do quite well. Watch it on 213, very similar. Another little storm system traveling through the northern tier. And then by the time we get to 216, 217, things start to shift to the west. Most of the pre, look at that subtropical jet coming in. This is more of a Pacific flow that's gonna hit the West Coast, 217, 218, 219, 220. And probably late during that period, 219, 220, we'll start to bring that precip in to the interior states. All right, let me put some precip on top of this. So this is the, this is the latest forecast for radar satellite. This is at 530. Here comes the next little area of low pressure. You can see it coming in through Idaho, dropping down into Utah, the Tetons. So one last shot of snow on 2-9, and then it drops down to the four corners and develops into a little uh, area of low pressure for Colorado and New Mexico. Here it is on 2-10 in the afternoon. You can see the snow up and down uh, Colorado, the, uh, through I-25 down into Taos and uh, New Mexico. Southern Colorado will get the most accumulation out of this. And then by 2-11, it's moving out. And then now everything shifts to the northern tier of states. Like I said, Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Here comes another surge on 2-15 into 2-16 uh, as well. Look at that. We're going to see some pretty nice totals, moderate to heavy accumulation with that. And then look what happens. By 2-17, Everything starts to shift to the west coast with that next storm system coming in. That subtropical jet brings all that moisture in, 217 and beyond. All right, let me just talk about the latest snow forecast numbers. So this is it. The rest of today through tomorrow in the Wasatch, another 5 to 8 inches, and then that's cut off after that. That's the end of it. In Colorado, another 1 to 4 for most places, potentially a, a bit more of a southern Colorado, a little bit of snow for northern New Mexico. Um, let's go into the next period. So this is 210 through 212. Um, there's your final storm system rotating through um, Colorado, New Mexico uh, with another several inches for uh, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, and Taos. Southern Colorado does well. And then that whole thing moves out on 211, and then it's drier. Then everything shifts up to the Pacific Northwest. And look at BC. Look at those numbers, 4 to 9, maybe 4 to 10 inches through uh, Kicking Horse and Revelstoke over to Mount Baker. That's where the emphasis is going to be, not only in this period, but the one right after it. Look at this. This is going to be a good one. If this holds together, look at the purple shading up there. Anything in purple is going to be over a foot, and that's quite a few places. Potentially uh, northwest Montana, uh, running from Kicking Horse to uh, Revelstoke over to Sunshine Village and Marmot Basin, 8 to 12 inches of accumulation. Potentially 1 to 2 feet there for uh, Baker, Rainier up to Whistler Black Home. So a lot of focus for that northern tier in that period. Um, and then things start to shift towards the west coast. You can see some of the numbers through northern California and Oregon. Those would be likely around 217. One last stop. Into the northeast, storm track is shifted even a little further south now, back towards Massachusetts, southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, southern Maine, 
um, would be right in the heart of that storm track, Hunter Mountain, Catamount, all those areas. Again, that's 212, 213 primarily with that storm system coming through that area. So we continue to see that storm track kind of bounce north and south. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. But there you go, guys. That's the afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.